Yo guys, what's up? What's going on? In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to fix the VGK.SYS page faulty in non-paged area error. My friend was also facing this issue, but after following these steps, his problem was resolved. It turned out to be an issue with his hard disk drive. Um, by the way, I hope your issues get resolved too after following these methods. Now let's start the VGK.SYS page faulty fault in non-paged area error is the blue screen of death which is called bsod error that can occur when there is a problem with the rar vanguard anti-cheat software this error message means that the vanguard driver tries to access a memory address that was not allocated to it uh, there are a few things that can cause the vgk.sys error a problem with the vanguard driver itself the second, a problem with your computer hardware such as a faulty memory module or hard drive and the third one, a virus or other malware infection. So let's start from the third option first. Just click on these three dots and open your Windows Defender and make a quick scan. So might be if it's a malware infection with your operating system so it will fix, fix that issue. But in case, if that's not the problem, then a problem with the Vanguard driver itself. So in case, you can just reinstall your Vanguard. First of all, just click on the Vanguard, right click on it, go on the more and then uninstall Vanguard from here. Once you uninstall your Vanguard from here, make sure to uninstall it. Uh, the last, let's check it out in program files, right Vanguard, that's why I, I was looking for this actually uh, it was reminding me like something like this so okay after uninstalling the vanguard make a clean restart and then uh, delete this folder before launching the vanguard uh, sorry rart client once you remove this folder now simply you can just launch your rart client and this will fix your problem like it's, it will re reinstall the rart vanguard and um, which will fix your issue now in case uh, method if, if both methods did not work for you then the last method it's your hard disk uh, ssd issue where you have installed the valorant so for that you can perform a quick scan of your hardware so just click on the windows icon then type here the diagnostic and just uh, run this windows memory diagnostic and as it's saying restart now and check for problems it's recommended you can go with this later so whenever you restart your pc for the next time it will scan but you need to scan this and after scanning it will uh, show you that your memory have any issue or not you can also use the third party tools if you like but anyways update your graphic card drivers Outdated or corrupted graphic card drivers can sometimes cause BSOD error. You can update your graphic card drivers by going to the website of your graphic card manufacturer and downloading the latest drivers. Number two, reinstall Vanguard if problem if updating your graphic card drivers does not does not fix the problem. You can try reinstalling Vanguard. Now probably it's not available on the latest uh, website. So as I said, you can just uninstall it and then uh, restart your pc and launch the right client it will install vanguard for you the number four run a diagnostic test on your system this will check your computer for hardware problems and the number five scan your computer for malware a virus or other malware infections can also cause bsod error you can scan your computer for malware using a reputable antivirus program but if you are using the windows defender i guess this is the best for your security system related to the uh, legit files like valorant or any other official files it's 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 the best so i hope this tutorial will help you to solve your problem if you are still facing any other issue just let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel for more videos see you in the next video till then just take yourself allah peace bye bye